Attorney General nominee Bill Barr says he'll take a hands-off approach to Robert Mueller's investigation. But his previous actions on executive privilege will be a major source of contention in his confirmation hearings. In 2018, Barr sent an unsolicited 19-page memo to both President Trump's lawyers and the Department of Justice about Mueller's obstruction theory. If it's any indication, yes, he used quotes around the word obstruction. In the memo, he called Mueller's obstruction theory fatally misconceived, writing specifically about this moment when Trump discussed FBI Director Jim Comey's firing in an interview. I was going to fire Comey. And in fact, when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. It's an excuse. Barr went on to say Mueller is proposing an unprecedented expansion of obstruction laws because he says the president, as far as I know, is not being accused of engaging in any wrongful act of evidence impairment. And the Russia investigation isn't the first time he's dealt with presidential power. Uh, I think there's been a little bit of hype about my position on executive privilege. Uh, executive privilege uh, is nothing new. During the Bush 41 administration, the then deputy attorney general told the president he could declare war against Iraq without permission from Congress. And he could continue that war, he said, even if they objected. I thought it was clear that the president did have the power uh, without any uh, preliminary congressional authorization to respond to uh, a sudden attack. Clearly, if that attack was on uh, the United States. He could repel attack if anything was clear. Barr also served in the Office of Legal Counsel, almost immediately publishing a memo dealing with Congress getting in the way of that power. And as a lame duck president, Bush pardoned officials facing charges in the Iran-Contra scandal, a decision Barr says he was deeply involved in. If he's to be confirmed in this administration, Barr is likely to face pressure from a president who is known to demand loyalty. Barr says he'll do his job independently, but if his personal views align with the president, the appearance of loyalty may be unavoidable.